Constance Brannick is here with us, the producer and editor of Right to Row, OCC Women's Crew. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Constance, so you're in the women's crew here at OCC. We don't really know a lot about women's crew. Tell us more about it. Um, well, the women's crew team was formed in 1993, but before then, four women decided to approach the head coach at the time and ask to form a team, because at the time it was just a men's team. And that head coach said, no, but you can be coxswains for the men's boats. A coxswain is the person who steers the boat and makes sure the men are in sync. Uh, the women said, no, we're not going to do that. And so they decided <laughs> to protest on the dock. So every morning they sat on the dock and watched the men launch. And they just made their presence known that we are here to stay. We are not leaving until you give us a boat. And finally, that, the head coach relented, and he was like, okay, you can have a team. So in that following spring of 93, they had their first official race as a women's crew team. And here you are. And mm -hmm. here you are, constantly. And here we are, several years later. So, I mean, aside from being the producer, you are also the editor of mm -hmm. this film. What was, ed what was the editing processing like? Because, I mean, I'm sure you guys recorded so many hours. You guys mm -hmm. practiced so early in the morning. I mean, what was all that like? Well, when we finally sat down with all our footage and everything was set and we were all nice, neat and tidy, we realized we had well over 100 hours of footage. And the realization that we did like several practices, we did testing days and we went to regattas and it, it tur quickly turned into, oh, only, we only need one editor to <laughs> uh, every ma man on deck. Like we need to make sure this comes out perfectly. So it was long nights at, with two computers swapping hard drives and figuring out what goes where and what does this build up right and is, is it like are we making our point are we getting our point across in the documentary so i mean talking about the uh, filming process having jake and all the cameras there on site how was that light how did it influence you guys did it did it influence you in a positive or negative way did it you know um not help out in the practicing how was that like um well first day when the crew showed up uh my team didn't really pay any mind to them and then they saw the cameras and then it was the sudden realization that what Connie's been talking about these past few weeks is no longer a myth is now happening. So after a quick little talk through, like just go practice normally, like don't worry about it. Um, the girls didn't pay any mind to it. Once we got down to focusing on what we had to do that practice, it, we no longer cared who was around us. I mean, Constance, you and your team are going to be uh, broadcasted at the Newport Beach Film Festival. Many people are going to see you guys. I mean, how does that feel? You're, you're, you're putting, you're spreading the word about women's crew out there. How, how do you feel? Um, I'm excited. I'm also very um, proud of how my team did and how they're doing. And just when we first screened the film to them, they looked at us and they said, we can finally show our family and our friends what we do every morning. And it's just showing them how hard we work at it and why we come home frustrated or why we're so tired in class. <laughs> and so it was just interesting to see. Constance, well, I wish you and your team, you know, the best of luck with this um, showing. And, and, you know, I'm so glad that you guys ventured out and, and um, are putting this out there and putting the word out there. So thank you so much for being here no today. No problem.